Hey, what's going on? Uh, Activator, I'm back. Yeah, I know. I've I, I've been away for a while. I keep I've been doing a lot of working on the side here and film and whatnot. I actually just did like an Apple commercial. It's fine. But I'm back, and I'm actually here for some uh, some nice OBS tips and tricks to get you guys ahead of the curve uh, when it comes to streaming and whatnot. So uh, we're gonna do some short little videos here, starting with this video, which is I guess tip number one. Now, one quick tip I wanted to give some people about OBS is splitting your scenes and sources with dummy scenes and dummy sources. Now, hear me out. Basically, the way that I have everything laid out is uh, with another tip I'm gonna let you guys in on the next video, which is nesting scenes. But inside of your nested scenes or any of your sources or anything like that, uh, it's good to have little breaks. You can kind of really categorize where all your stuff lives inside of OBS. And right now, inside of my OBS, I have a, in my scenes list, I have little scene breaks in there to go ahead and distinguish between these are my scenes and these are my uh, my nested scenes that I use inside of my scenes. Now we'll get to nesting scenes here in a minute, but just want to let you guys know that I think it's a really helpful, beneficial tool to go ahead and bring you guys, uh, you know, a little bit more ease of looking at your OBS and knowing what exactly you're looking for, what you're trying to get done and all that stuff, because you'll see where everything is based on these little cuts through your scenes and source lists. So it's not just tons of, you know, source, 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 but now it's like source, source. Oh, here's a break. Source, 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 break, blah, blah, blah. It's just, it's easier to deal with. I kid you not, do it. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I really think this is going to help uh, the majority of you guys out in terms of like getting your scenes uh, set up in a way that's going to help you out with your live streams and whatnot to be able to quickly look over here at your OBS. You see it. Where's my this or that? Click, click, click. Done. There it is. So it's really nice to be able to just quickly look over and look for exactly what you're looking at. Now, I label mine as scenes and then assets. Now, my assets are my nested scenes, but that'll be in the next video. So little scene breaks or something like that or source breaks, you know, whatever you want to call it, call it what you will. But uh, it's going to lead to our next thing, which is all about nested scenes and when we get into nested scenes, you're going to be able to see how things really formulate and get inside of collecting everything inside of OBS and really starting to put it into different places. I kid you, like, you're going to want to watch this, all right? If you haven't already seen my video on nested scenes, I got that video uh, somewhere on here. And then you just stay tuned for the next one. Quick, short tip. I'm here to get you guys in and out. All right. Till next video. Take care. Catch you soon.